What up? Ooh, this is loud. What up? Well, it's not your first time to Abu Dhabi, but uh, I'm curious if the second time round, if the second time round has uh, been a little bit of a different experience for you, or if it's just same old, same old. Uh, same old, same old. I've been here for like a week and a half now, so uh, now nah, just like just same old, same old. I love this hotel. Is this fight a little bit of a unique one in terms of your career? Because, right, this guy is coming up. He's kind of taking a big step up in competition. You're the guy that, <clears throat> you know, has been around for longer, but he's somewhat favored in the fight, it feels like, from some areas. Is this a bit unique in that sense? Maybe. Um, I mean, yeah, Umar is a unique fighter. Stylistically, he's a really tough fight. I had work in, like, a lot of overtime hours in order to make sure that I was prepared for this fight. But, uh yeah, I mean, the rankings, the him coming up, the, the odds, the betters, I could honestly give a shit less. I, uh, I'm focused on what I'm going to do on Saturday, and that's executing underneath the lights. And I, I, I like, can't wait for that piece, man, because, you know, it's weird that people are counting me out for this one, but I just can't wait to prove all those, you know, those people wrong. I don't think you're the sort of person who would be affected by this, but do you think some people just hear the last name Namagamadov and sort of psych themselves out before they even get in there and don't face the guy in front of them, but face the name behind them? Yeah, I mean, no one's seen me defensively wrestle ever almost, you know, except for the, the situation with Sterling. That's what we'll call that loss as a situation. Uh, the situation with Sterling where, and that was what, like four years ago? I was two years into my career. I'm six, seven years into my career now, and still no one's really seen it. So uh, just another element that I get to show to people. And, uh, man, I'm excited for this one just to show how great I am because Umar is going to bring out the best of me. And he already has in this camp, and I'm pumped for it, man. I, I can't wait to watch myself fight. Is this the sort of one, this is the sort of fight where, you know, you win this, title shot, could win that. This is the sort of fight we might get a rematch down the line because he's going to keep coming and you two could end up being the two best in this division. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can see that. I can see that with a few of the guys that I fought in the division, you know. Um, the cream is kind of rising to the top in the division. Uh, a lot of fights are kind of working themselves out and we're seeing who's better than who and um, that's a pretty exciting spot to be in the division. But yeah, I, I think that Umar is going to be one of those guys that sticks around for a while. So I have to make sure that I'm extra mentally sharp and, uh, you know, not giving him an inch in the cage on Saturday. Like I said, there's a little while to go before we can really start talking about this, but it does feel like your style, your skill set is starting to be appreciated more and more by fans, rightfully so. Sean O'Malley is who he is. And it feels like if that matchup did get made, it could be a massive fight in the bantamweight division. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, me and O'Malley is a fight that the fans really want to see. Uh, I think the UFC wants that fight, and, man, it's just like a fan pleaser. You know, if we make it for gold, that just becomes one of the most anticipated best uh, fights that people are asking for, and then you make it for gold, that's just, you know, icing on top of the cake. It just makes that fight that much bigger. So, you know, I'll be rooting for O'Malley, and uh, after I get this win, then hopefully we'll be fighting. I'm sure you've been asked a hundred times, but I've not heard your prediction for that fight. Who do you have winning? Uh, I got O'Malley winning that one, but who knows? Hi, Corey. Just a couple from me. Uh, Umar says he's been promised by the UFC a title shot if he wins. Have you been promised a title shot with a win? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Dana said that in the, uh, in the announcement is that this is a number one contender fight. So, yeah, I, I definitely plan on that. And you fought a, a lot of great fighters in your resume, but when you look at kind of the old guard, uh, you know, you fought Frankie Edgar. Is there anyone you wish you would have fought? Mm, yeah, potentially. I, I wish that me and Aldo could have fought, me and uh, uh, Cruz could have fought, but, you know, I guess they're still around, so it could still happen. And uh, last one for me, in uh, open workouts, you showed off a lot of your uh, WWE mm -hmm. moves. A, can we see any of those in the fight? And B, uh, maybe a future uh, crossover into WWE for you, pro wrestling? Yeah, I got, I got two goals in the sport. It's be, to become a world champ and then to hit a Stone Cold Stunner. So, you know, those are on my bucket list. Those are my, my two UFC goals before I retire. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Mm -hmm. Corey, over here, greetings from Ecuador. Uh, it is a bit uh, advantage for Umar fighting here and not in the States. Mm, no. Um, no. The first one was scheduled in Nashville. I didn't feel like I had a mega advantage fighting in Nashville. The truth of the matter is, is that when you go into the cage and the door locks and the ref says go and you hear the bell ring, uh, that's when the truth comes out. If it's in the Middle East, if it's in Nashville, if it's in you know, anywhere in the world, that's, that's when the truth comes out. And uh, I don't care that it's here, no. You are, you are very tall for this division, so how are you going to use that in, for you in this fight against him? 
Yeah, I mean, I think that that's something that a lot of people kind of forget about when they're thinking about the matchups, you know, like I get a few inches on all of these guys. So these guys that are really good at playing from range, they don't get to do that against me. Um, you know, like the Cheetos, the, the guys that like being long. Umar, he likes throwing long kicks. He likes leaving space. He doesn't get to do that as easily against someone that has a reach advantage against him. So, um, you know, I definitely got that advantage. Yes. Uh, I want to, uh, if you can get, help me with uh, some opinion about Chirubera against, uh, against Figueredo. What do you think about that fight? Uh, Cheeto's got to fight better than he has in his last couple of ones if he wants a chance because Figgy's good. Do you believe uh, the winner is going to maybe another one fight and then uh, the shot for the belt? Yeah, it could be that. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot happens in this sport even in like three, four months, so who knows, but uh, yeah, maybe. Thank you. Yep. Hey, Corey. What's the response been like to your YouTube channel and the breakdowns that you do? Because, I mean, you have an insanely good impression of Sean O'Malley. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's been good. You know, I, mean, uh, I, I enjoy doing it. Really, I just want people to understand, understand the art a lot better. Like, I think that there's a lot of beauty that's kind of like slipping underneath the cracks just because uh, fighting isn't just brawling. Fighting is like an art, too. You know, it, it's definitely brawling, too. But um, yeah, I just kind of want to like show people that, uh, that there's like a lot of beauty and technique happening behind the scenes. And then... Um I mean, obviously, it would be great to, to take Umar's um, O from him, but he's also got a he's got a hundred percent takedown defense rate. So, how sweet would that be to get one on him as well? Uh, yeah, fine. I don't care, man. Like, uh, I plan on going toe to toe with Umar everywhere. So, um, you know, I think that Umar has to worry about me. I don't have to worry about Umar. You know, that that's the way that I'm going into this fight is offensive all the time. So, if he get if he gives me a shot, cool. Um, I see shots as an opportunistic thing. If he messes up and gives me a takedown, then, yep, I'm going to take it. Tori here. Uh, kind of curious, what, what do you think about Dagestan basketball? <laughs> I like Dagestan basketball. I like it a little bit more than American basketball. It's a little rougher. It's a little less pretty to watch, but uh, I like Dagestan basketball. Maybe uh, I don't think I'd be as good at it. <laughs> <laughs> and a question. Uh, beside the title shot, if there will not be a title, uh, who, which fighter excites you? Like, damn, I would like to step in the cage with him and share the time. Which fighter excites you more? Um, for the title shot after this? I don't know. Beside the title shot, if there will not be a title, who would you love to fight? Oh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it because I'm fighting for the title after this. Uh -huh. All right. And the last one. The, uh, the former ch champion, Arjuna Stelnik, moved up to featherweight, and you also made a debut in the featherweight division in UFC, and you had the fights in featherweight. At some point, you, you think about to move up a weight class and test yourself here? Uh, maybe. 35 is really comfortable for me to make. Um, I'd maybe mess around at 45 if it was, you know, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day. All right, thank you. Hey, Corey, how you doing? Yo. Uh, just a quick one for you, Corey. We, we, you've given us a couple of interviews since, since you've been in, in Abu Dhabi. The feedback from the local MMA fans, from the Middle East fans, has been <coughs> super positive. Everybody's speaking very highly of you. There's very little animus towards you, even though, as you said, this is likely to be a very, uh, you know, pro Uma crowd. What do you what do you attribute that to? Because the fans have really taken to you in this part of the world. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, the the fans out here, honestly, they're uh, they're fight fans. Like th this is an area that's really rich in combat history. You know, like um, uh, these people just appreciate good fighting. That that's what I, like uh, every Russian reporter that I talk to is like the coolest because I'm just like, oh, you really know what you're talking about. And also, like, um, you just appreciate, like, good fights. Like, you appreciate the skills and the techniques of the fight. I, I, I feel it's the same here, you know. And, and also, it's just not part of their culture, I think, to boo. Like, I was a little nervous at open workouts if people were going to boo. I didn't get many cheers, but I didn't get any boos either, so I'll take that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm a respectful guy. I, I come across that way. It's hard to be a dick to someone that's not a dick, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah. To, to be fair, the, the open workouts were subdue in general. I don't think I don't think that was a specific Corey thing. Uh, Cheeto was in here earlier, and he was talking about Uma's gas tank. You and I have had a chat about you coming down from elevation. Do you think that's going to play a big part from you if you can put a pace on him and and see if you can't get get a drain his gas tank because he's not really done a five round fight. We'll see if he can keep up. You know, like uh, I don't put any eggs in any basket except for execution and skills. 
do I have the skills and can I execute the skills? You know, like the experience, the, the whole like me coming from elevation, him getting tired, like all of that, you know, that's, that's just some shit I say in my meat suit just to, you know, like <laughs> fucking be interesting to talk to. But really what it comes down to, man, is uh, going into the cage and executing. And that's where my mind is. I don't have no feelings. I don't have no expectations. I plan on going into the cage, it closing, the bell ringing, and me executing. Well, it's been a pleasure having you, and good luck. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. Please. Hi. Uh, what would you say to the kids that are starting the martial arts and they want to have a career in this? Ooh, don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's real tough, and um, if you love it, you should do it, and if you don't love it, you shouldn't do it. Thanks, guys.